He was out of town and as a Valentine's Day gift, reserved a massage at our home using the Soothe app. This woman, going by the name of Jane Doe, says she was sexually assaulted and raped in her own home by a massage therapist using the fake name Hernando Geraldo on the Soothe app. I've been traumatized by this event. Since he knows where I live, I have the fear of this monster returning to my home. This bed couple has previously used the Soothe app. It advertises as the world's largest and most popular wellness platform. Uh, it's essentially, as we've alleged, an Uber for massage therapists. They're now suing Soothe Inc. and Evident ID Inc. for failing to do a proper ID and criminal background check. The lawsuit alleges the therapist was a sexual predator and has sexually assaulted another Soothe customer. Soothe provided us with a fake name, an alias for an individual police believe has the prior record for committing the same exact horrendous crime. Unfortunately, this individual is still at large. The massage therapist that Soothe sent to our client's home had, as we've alleged, a prior arrest for sexually assaulting another female Soothe customer. He was also, as we've alleged, operating under a fake name on the platform. The victim's attorney says the massage therapist left his scarf behind that was given to the NYPD and tested for DNA. It may be a batch to other sexual assaults. The NYPD confirms they took in this complaint the day after Valentine's Day in the 81st precinct. There has been no arrest in this case. Soothe has also not responded to a number of PIX11's attempts for comment. Their website, offering a number of wellness services at home, says they have fully vetted licensed professionals that are fully insured while conducting ongoing criminal monitoring and background checks before every service. Our goal is to get justice for our client for the immeasurable loss that she suffered being a victim of sexual assault and rape in her own home and to protect other users uh, so that the same thing that happened to our client doesn't happen to them. Calorama, PIX11 News.